The subject of Gesar has been popular for probably the last 20 to 30 years. Uh, in the West, this is partially due uh, to Chogyam Trungpa, who promoted a little bit um, the, the narratives and uh, religious traditions of Gesar. But also it's been the uh, Chinese government has also been promoting for the last 20, 30 years um, in, um, in China. Uh, because uh, Gesar can be viewed as not necessarily Buddhist. He can be viewed as a, a Tibetan culture hero. Um, and so he was promoted um, uh, principally for those reasons. Um, now, we have to remember that there's really two main study topics for Gesar. There's literary Gesar, and then there's religious Gesar. Um, literary uh, Gesar is uh, really all the narratives and the biography. Uh, the religious case are, is, is something that really happened in the last couple of hundred years and really in the late 19th century with, um, with uh, Mipam Rinpoche uh, promoting the different forms and practices of, of Gesar as a Buddhist deity, uh, not just as a, as a Tibetan king and culture hero. Um, so we have many books in, in English about Gesar, but primarily, well, not just primarily, but they are uh, all of them except one are on the uh, biography or songs or, or just narratives of Gesar. And, and we do have art. We have a fair bit of art in uh, <clears throat> various collections, private and institutional. But there's only one book that's available that, that talks about the art of uh, Gesar, the art and the iconography. And that book is called The uh, Painted Scrolls of the Life of Gesar. It's out of, uh, uh, it's, it's actually, the, the full name is from the Treasury of Tibetan Pictorial Art, Painted Scrolls of the Life of Gesar. And it, it's published by the Sichuan uh, Provincial Museum um, in Chengdu, China, but also in conjunction with the Sichuan University. Uh, the editor was uh, Professor Shang Zhong Hong and, uh, of Sichuan University, and the, uh, also there's a foreword by Leonard Vanderkype of, of uh, Harvard University. And again, full disclosure, I do have an article in the publication. The publication came out in 2012. And full disclosure, also the appendices in the back of the large publication were primarily done out of the Himalayan Art Resources offices in New York City. Um, so we really had a lot to do with this publication. We actually had hoped to have more images in the book and uh, more content in some of the articles, but we were kind of limited by the funding, which was uh, from the Sichuan uh, Provincial Museum, and they wanted to promote primarily their set, of, a complete set of 11 paintings of the life story of Gesar. Now, these 11 paintings, although we're talking um, a l sort of literary Gesar here, it's really not. These 11 paintings are made within a religious context, and the 11 central figures in, in the compositions um, are really related more to uh, important figures in the life story, yes, but also important figures in the religious dance of Gesar. And this is primarily, I would think, coming out of Dzogchen Monastery, um, based on the writings of uh, Mipam Rinpoche. Uh, we have two sets that, that we know exist. One is a partial set in, uh, in Paris, in the Guimet, Museum, and then we have a full set of 11 paintings in the Sichuan Provincial Museum. So, this book, uh, Painted Scrolls of the Life of Gesar, this is the only available book, publication, that deals with the, the art and iconography of Gesar. So, don't forget, press the like button. Uh, you can subscribe, you can ask questions, you can, you can actually suggest books uh, if you want um, a, a short review. Sometimes we don't really do uh, reviews, we're, we're just kind of um, saying that this is a book we like and we don't um, say much else. But 
But this right now is the only book on Gesar which covers a lot of different topics and it is um, concerned with the uh, visual representations of Gesar.